kiss my eyes, so what? Fuck sake. This fucking X Max. Whoo! What a journey it's been. So, as you know, the first run, I stripped this hot racing spur gear. And it's uh, pretty solid. That's because I didn't read the directions, and it says clearly do not use the pin system if you use that. And uh, I imagine it says that for all of them. Nikazuna actually just bought a, a new X Max 2, and uh, his second run out, he blew the servo and one of his fans quit working. So I've kind of been going back and forth with him. This blew out, it was my fault. Second time around, I put the stock 46 tooth and this bitch grenaded inside. I didn't know this happened on my second run. Also, that two piece drive shaft, well, it sheared this little pin goes in the middle of that bearing, remember? It sheared that. I don't know when that happened. I'm guessing is when all this catastrophe was happening. But I didn't find that out till I put the stock gearing back on. And went to run it and I only had rear wheel drive. So to take it off, I have the stock drive shaft in it right now. The company I did buy the two-piece drive shaft from are sending me a replacement right away. Which is really cool of them. Before I get started, I want to give a shout out, big shout out, to Rocky and JJ Customs. They sent me a goodie box, have a beanie, pretty sweet, especially where I live. Some RPM arms, I th I'm pretty sure these are for the Creighton. RPM Creighton arms, that is the shit. I got plenty of stickers. And they're little stickers so they will fit on everything. And a BLX 2050. That's the shit. Now that is some fucking much needed spare parts. Thank you very much, Rocky. I told you me and Rocky have a bromance. I will definitely be wearing that. Anybody that takes the, uh, out of the kindness of their heart to send me something, you bet your fucking ass. I'm gonna represent that shit. Plus it's freezing up here. All my beanies look like douche beanies. So I put the the video you seen yesterday, I put the stock gearing back on. I put the punch level down and I ran it and it ran fine. Now when that guy sends me to the new piece for the two piece drive shaft, I'm still just gonna leave this in here until it um, fails or bends. I had overwhelming amount of help and suggestions and I thank every single one of you. It was awesome. You guys I, were full of good tips. Um, this one guy, I can't remember your name, I'll put it right here on the screen. You brought it to my attention that Hot Racing said do not use the pins. I'm sure a lot of people knew, but he's the one who told me. And sure enough, look on the website, look on the fucking directions like you're supposed to, but I'm an idiot. So I ordered a new spur from Amazon. It was supposed to be a Raiden racing, but they sent me a hot racing again. So I guess we'll be trying this thing again. It is beefy. I got screws with it. I got a Atomic RC diff, aluminum diff cover. And I bought a Atomic RC motor mount. Blue was the only one they had, so whatever. But that way I don't stand I don't have any chances of flex from that plastic one, which I couldn't figure out what the problem was and I assumed that was it. If not, then whatever. Can't go wrong. I've never taken the same parts off so much in my life as I have this the last couple days. It's all good. This this is my opinion coming from someone who's never had one and only had an outcast as far as 8S trucks. You get 
I don't know, some of you, a lot of you are going to disagree with me. I think you get better quality with the Arma. Look what you have to do to this thing. All new gears. You got to put a more powerful ESC because supposedly that's going to pop. You got to put a new servo because supposedly that one sucks. Uh, Nikozuna's already blew up on his second run out. It's just a pain in the ass. The Outcast, nothing. I broke a, uh, a dog bone on it doing backflips. But you don't have to you don't have to upgrade everything on the truck. It's the same same price. But you know, this probably won't break as much on flips. I keep telling myself that. It's not that I don't like this, I'm just being honest. Just being honest. Just being honest with everyone. And that's okay if you don't agree. It's okay. It's only a toy! I know on stock gearing, this thing was fun, but definitely no beast. But it was a beast at the park the other day when I had it. I don't know, I just, I just assumed that Traxxas had slightly better quality. In my opinion, I don't care. If it kicks ass, it kicks ass. Same thing when I get that low C. If I think it sucks, I'm going to say, this kind of sucks. That's just what I'm going to do. Guess what doesn't suck? A Creighton. <laughs> My Creighton doesn't suck. Not at all. Alright, get the fuck out of there. With your powdery ass gears. I know that pissed me off too. I just don't know why the fuck. I just can't comprehend. Why a company would use these stupid powder gears on a truck with this kind of power. It makes me sick, to be honest with you. This shit's this shit costs so much money. Alright, I'm done complaining. No, I'm not done complaining. What the fuck? Why the fuck do you even buy that? Alright, powder metal. That fucking tracks just made you with. We'll make a fortune by selling these fools powdered metal. Then they have to buy upgraded parts. I love the size of this thing. Just get these little quirks figured out. Oh, the fans too. I know, I know. I sound like a like a hoe complaining too much. Those fans suck balls. <laughs> they both they died for no Nikazuna on his, and they died. For me too. But that's an easy upgrade item. But <laughs> shouldn't have to. Thousand dollar car. Thousand dollar car, bro. Another halt racing spare. Try it again. I am still excited to have an X Max. Part of the hobby, bro. Atomic racing. Aluminum diff cover. I did have someone tell me they had problems with stripping spurs until they put this piece on. So, pretty much anytime someone said, hey, I had that problem until I put this on, I bought that and now I'm putting them all on. So, I shouldn't have that problem. All right? So, I'm thinking. Feels butter smooth. Butter smooth. Oh! Alright, that thing flew away. Nah, I'll find it later. Hit my aquarium. Front off. Alright. There's the new one. Looks nice. Looks pretty. So very pretty. That is it for this video because I don't have the washers and I want to do it properly that I go underneath the chassis that the new screws will go through that screw into this and I want to do it right but I work this week any damn way so it's not like I can go run this thing so it looks nice super awesome super cool all right my next video will probably be unless I just 
go run some shit. Uh, finishing this with all this shit on. And being done with the X-Max. I also bought some new fans for it. I tried to get the castle ones, but I couldn't find them anywhere in stock. I bought the Power Hobby fans for it. I love those fans. Those and WTF fans, I love them. But those should be pretty good. Alright. Thanks for watching.